Sega. How are you feeling after your time in stasis? If it wasn't impossible, I'd swear I dreamt about them. Wayland Utani Corporation has set up a colony on BG386. It's grim, it's harsh, it's virtually deserted. The Predator's on a mission, the alien's trying to protect the Queen, and the Marine's trying to survive. All hell breaks loose. It's dirty, oily, sweaty, bloody, and gory. It's a brutal, terrifying nightmare. The Marines come to BG386 on what they think is a rescue mission. The Marines are on to the team. These are going to survive, they've got to work as a team. They've got the classic pulse rifle, quick firing, armor piercing round, an underslung grenade launcher, shotguns, flamethrowers, got scope rifles, the ultimate weapon, the auto target tracking smart gun, which is exactly what you need. Even though they have all these weapons, they sometimes resort to close quarters combat and sometimes they just got to turn and run. Firing in the darkness, never knowing quite where the aliens are coming from, hearing the blip of the motion tracker. Marines are the original, the best, the baddest, the toughest. Arguably, the Predator is the physically most powerful of the three and has got the highest technology. Any location with vantage points suits the Predator. In the jungle, the Predator could hide on the treetop. He's got his wrist blades. Just waiting with his cloak on. Shoulder cannon. Uses distract modes. Spear. Separate the Marines below. A smart disc. And then when the moment's right, when the Predator gets up close and personal, he'll jump down and tear them to pieces with his wrist blades. That's when he's really going to start ripping heads from bodies. Can you imagine what it must be like to see one alive in the flesh? Nothing stands in its way. It will outlast us all. In many ways, the alien is the perfect organism. Pure of motive, it's all about survival. But the aliens can still navigate on the walls and climb on the ceilings, but now they really get up close and rip their targets and prey to pieces. The aliens are by far the fastest species on the planet. You are the weapon. You're a guided, fanged, clawed missile. The Predator and Marine, they carry weapons, but the alien actually is the weapon. It's so perfect, so pure. The Xenomorph it adapts so efficiently. What I would give to understand it. What it has cost already. It is a truly impressive animal. It's much more than an animal. Mr. Wayland, there are several R&D combat simulations containing hunter, human, and xenomorph combatants engaged in battle. Yes, quick as you can. I'm eager to return to my own land. In many games, both sides are pretty much the same. We've got guys with guns and armor, but they're against things that don't have guns at all that can leap around. They're against things that can turn invisible and can stab you in the back and creep up on you. And it makes the game unique in its multiplayer experience. When you're playing as an alien in multiplayer, there's, there's nothing quite like the satisfaction of ripping somebody's head off if he's killed you a few times and knowing that on his screen, he's going to be watching you do it. Predator's really good at close-up, and so is the alien. Predator's not so good in the medium range, which is where the Marine excels. And at long range, the Predator's got the plasma caster and invisibility, and he can get into positions that the Colonial Marine can't get into. It's intense, it's exciting, and it's absolutely brutal. Be prepared to play a kind of first-person shooter that you've never encountered before. Violent, visceral, exciting, challenging, gut punching. Have Groves meet me when I land. I want a full briefing on anything not catalogued in the video libraries. As you wish, Mr. Wayland.